What's going on ESGN Nation and welcome back to another episode here on Madden 20 and this is the Khalil Kelly face of the franchise QB1 as we're wrapping up the regular season here today and the final game here at home is against the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs currently 12 and 3 for the season and of course they are uh, gonna look like they're gonna be going to the playoffs here just like we are and uh for of course for us to cap off really the season here we're trying to go undefeated for i believe this is the second year in a row uh that we're trying to go undefeated and we'll try to see if we can go 16 and 0 and try to go for that perfect record here of course kansas city which i like love to knock us off and try to get uh that uh, 13th win of the season so they go 13 and 3 but we'll try to do our best to try to avoid that here today if we can try to work and get that w khalil of course understanding the history uh, this, uh, this, you know, this, this, no team's ever done this before. Of course, this is a video game, so, uh, bear with me. But, uh, you know, uh, history's knocking on his door here. We'll see if we can try to go, uh, for a second straight year undefeated as we take a look at Kansas City and what they've done here this season. And they've had a pretty good, impressive season. Still got that, still that tight net quarter they have there on defense. Of course, Chris Jones there on, uh, the defensive side of the ball. And, of course, uh, the main guy they have, uh, their QB, Patrick Mahomes, uh, the uh, general there. Of course, uh, Matthew there, Ty Tyron Matthew, of course, back in the deep uh, safety area. Of course, he we definitely have to try to watch out for us. Now, we have no challenge this week here from anybody uh, from the defensive side of the ball or even from the offensive side of the ball here. But uh, we have a lot on the line here. And, of course, you know, if we do lose this game, that's fine. But, you know, it would be nice to go for a second year in a row with a undefeated streak. There you see Kyle Rudolph and the numbers he had last week. He had a nice game, six receptions, 107 yards for him. And, of course, a TD. And we'll try to see if we can try to produce that same kind of magic here uh, that we've pretty much had it all season long here. So, uh We'll see that uh, I believe Kansas City got the ball first. So here's our first try on the uh, ground here today. Now, I do want to tell you now, uh, my apologies for the having the commentary. Uh, commentary is talking on this while I'm talking there. I, I, it's there for the first quarter or so here. Uh, so bear with it. Uh, but you see Khalil hand this one off there. That's a nice one there from Mac as he does a great job of running this one. Of course, he is our superstar X-Factor halfback, and by the looks of it, he could be our halfback coming into next season. Um, and, of course, if you don't guys don't know, this series uh, is not going to necessarily continue on this game. We're going to continue uh, this uh, Khalil Kelly uh, uh, you know, face of the franchise on, uh, it's on uh, Madden 22. Uh, so he'll be a re reimagining, I guess you could say, a rebirth of him on that game. And, of course, uh, we want to try that one out. Uh, of course, that series will be on our second channel on ESGN LP. So definitely check it out there uh, if you guys enjoy this series on this channel. Definitely go on to that channel there, and we'll start that one up as soon as this one wraps up here on Madden 20. So now first in, as we still have good, good possession of this ball here. Doing a great job here getting down the field and showing off what we can do. As we'll see a handoff there. That's going to get into the end zone there from Mack. And Marlon Mack gets his first touchdown today the there. I believe that is touchdown number four for him for the season. As you see there, no, excuse me, number seven for him for the season, I believe. As he gets there, and he gets the first points on the board there in this ball game. Kansas City is able to tie uh, tie this game back up with their touchdown of their own. As you'll see a uh, ball in the tw our own 25-yard line. And Mack again, of course, run this one there as he gets six on that carry. And Mack's been doing a great job for us this summer, or excuse me, this uh, season here. As uh, he's been putting up some pretty good numbers here. He has had some, a lot of monster games. And we're hoping to see if he can do the same thing here on this uh, regular season finale here from the home crowd. Of course, we will have home field advantage during the playoffs. First and 10 coming up here as well, our ball is our own 42-yard line. And it looks like the ground game is going doing excellent for us here. 
And so we see a hand. Oh, Matt gets hit hard there. Nice tackle there from uh, Hitchens there. Uh, the Iowa Hawkeye there getting a hold of the halfback there. He just bulldozed him there. Look at that. Bam. Just bulldozing him. And he did a great job there getting off that defensive line. Second and 12 now coming up. That's Kelly here. Still haven't seen him throw just yet here. As we see a quick pass there. That one's going to get there. And, of course, that is going to go to Kenny Steeles on the catch. As that will just be short of the first down. Well, Daniel making a nice stop there. As we'll go down to a first and 10. And, or third and one, excuse me. And we do get the first and 10. Yes, we do. So we're able to move the chains. And that's a great job there from Mack getting the yards we need there to start the uh, start the second quarter here. So now first and 10. Finally got these guys to, on their mind. We didn't get them to shut up there. As we see a quick uh, pass there. That one's going to be batted away there for the defense of Kansas City. So now third and 10 here. Using third down situations here. We try to get uh, Wilson involved here in this pass. Wilson gets this one. And Wilson will not be able to hold on to it. As, uh, or no, excuse me, that is uh, Fuller, I believe, on that play there. We try to get that one to Fuller. As we see Fuller there, just cannot get this one. As he is trying to put his, or no, that is Wilson. Never mind, my bad. As Wilson does get it. I get uh, Wilson and, and uh, Fuller's numbers mixed up there. But Wilson, for sure, <laughs> does not get it. So we'll see here. Show you guys some just simulation here. I don't show this too often. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think by now here, at some point here, we will not hear any more uh, commentating there from our gents there in the booth. So now first and ten here after uh, we see Kansas City taking a seven-point lead. Kelly here drops back in the pocket here, rifles this one there to the left-hand side and makes a great throw there as that is to the tight end, Kyle Rudolph, who gets the reception. Second and one coming up next. And uh, we'll see Kelly here scrambles off to the right-hand side, looking down the field here, trying to find some pass. He does throw this one there, but is it caught in bounds? And they say it is as Kyle Rudolph keeps his feet in bounds here. Hopefully we have a replay of that as uh, miraculously somehow he just with that bang-bang play, able to get the ball pulled in and keep his feet in bounds for the first. So first and 10 coming up, ball on the uh, – Chiefs 45, we'll see a quick pass there, zips this one in there. That's a great pass. And, of course, that'll be a uh, three-yard carry, three-yard reception for a uh, second and seven coming up. As we see a quick pass there, nice drop back and a nice uh, good throw there to Kenny Stills, who gets the first. Dolphins looking really good here so far in this game as we see this one over just overthrown there as Kelly sees a little bit of pressure there to his left right hand side and he has to try to get this one out of there but he cannot get that one to Steals. This time he does so there. He gets this one to Kenny Steals and Kenny Steals inside the 20 who makes a nice throw, a nice catch there. His third reception of the day and that gets him to the end zone. Or excuse me, he gets to, to the uh, just inside the 20. I believe they mark him at the 11 for the first down. So new set of downs here for the Dolphins. As we'll see, Ke Kelly here runs this one there. Kelly going to get this one and oh, holds on to it. And he gets pushed there at the five-yard line. So now at the five-yard line here, second and three coming up. Kelly drops back in the pocket, rips this one, throws it there. That's going to be caught. Nice pass there. Great zip. On that ball there, Albert Wilson, his 14th reception, uh, reception or receiving touchdown here this season. As that's a beautiful slant pass there. He's able to stay right in front of it and keep his balance and get himself in the end zone. And that's a great uh, touchdown there. Now tying this one up now 14 all. Let's take some more look at this simulation here. And see what Kansas City can do on their offensive side of the ball. And there's a penalty there from a Kansas City Chiefs. Sammy Watkins there, eight-yard reception there from him. And then Watkins, of course, getting another throw there to him. As uh, they have to do a quick, uh, quick three and out there. Nice job there from the uh, from the guys there. 
Get the ball near our own th nine yard line as they do a great job there, uh, position us there and on that punt. Second and two coming up. And we'll see what we have ourselves in store here. Play action. And Kelly going to rifle this one there deep. One handed catch there. Great job. And that's going to be a first down. No other than Albert Wilson. It's Wilson well. Uh, there you see his numbers there in the bottom, uh, bottom uh, of your screen there, what he's done so far this season. And like I say, he's been doing a great job here, helping out uh, for the most part here in, in just tight situations. And Wilson just being a great clutch uh, receiver for, uh, I was going to say the rookie here, but no, he's been in the league now for three years now, so he's not much of the rookie. But Kelly uh, getting some help there. Now first 10 coming up. And we'll see a handoff there. That's going to go to Mack. And that's going to be a great job there for Marlon Mack, who gets nine on the carry. Second one coming up here. Kelly staying in the pocket, looking down the field. Decides to go ahead and scramble here. And he's going to have to make sure he holds on to it. He crosses the 50 at the 46-yard line, I believe, of the Chiefs. As Hitchens does a great job there of getting the tackle and bringing down the QB. Cannot get the sack, but Kelly... Being flushed out here is, you realize there's, you see, there's just too many uh, white and red jerseys there. And he had to do something with the football there. And there you see, try to probably try to slide there or try to see what kind of yards you get. But he does a great job there holding on to the football and embracing that hit and make sure he has the uh, football intact. Third and two coming up. We'll see a play action here. Kelly is going to have to get rid of this one here. No one. He's going to get to that one, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. And we go to a fourth and two now here coming up for the Dolphins. It's, it's still tied 14-all here in this one, as we'll see what Kansas City now can try to do here with just 237 left here. And, or just a little, yeah, just, yeah, about, or excuse me, just about two minutes left here in this one. As we'll see uh, Patrick Mahomes incomplete pass there. Third and eight coming up. Oh, a nice 13-yard reception there to Hardman. Who gets another first? And then you see Kansas City getting caught on a penalty there. And then you see a knockaway pass in the second and 20. A nice celebrating uh, reception there from Kansas City. And then Patrick Mahomes, an incomplete pass. He can't do nothing. So just a less than a minute left here in this uh, first half. And Kelly here handing this off to Mack. Mack making a nice strong run there as he gets a, a great nine yard reception. That's going to put him now at second and, one, second and one coming up here with just 41 seconds left. So second and one for the Dolphins as Kelly drops back in the pocket. A scrambles off to the right-hand side. Thinking about maybe going down the field. He does so here. Looking for that block and gets enough there for the first down. We'll go now to a first and ten after that nice run there from Kelly. It's Kelly here. He has to get rid of the football, but he's going to be brought down by no other than Chris Jones. Defensive tackle does a great job bringing down the QB and slowing that momentum that they had on that drive. Second and 20 now coming up. With just a ball on the own 25-yard line here and just kind of run out the clock as much as they possibly can here as you see another timeout being called. And this time it's going to be the Dolphins there calling the timeouts. Dolphins maybe playing some mind games here with Kansas City here. And maybe thinking they're going to just go in the half with this tie. We'll see Kelly throwing this one up there. Kelly, oh, cannot connect with his receiver. As that was a deep pass there intended there for Albert Wilson. Wilson couldn't get his hands on or didn't have his hands on but just couldn't bring it down. Take a look at the replay there. It goes up, comes down, but just cannot hold on to it to make a completion. And that is pretty much how the first half is going to be. As we see a sim here real quick. See if Kansas City can do something here in the last uh, few seconds of the first half. And they could not. So we'll see. Uh, start off here in the third quarter. We'll have the ball here first. And we'll see Kelly drops back here. Great pass up the middle. And have his receiver make a nice play. And so that's just going to be a great throw there to Kenny Steele. This is Kenny Steele's four catches, 63 yards. Kenny Steele's, uh, you know, making some big, some Pretty impactful plays early this season. And so far in the second half of the season, kind of a, a little bit of a no-show. Not making too big of plays, but he is our 
leading uh, receiver this year. I believe he's over well over a thousand yards. Kelly now throwing this one over there. Nice pass over the head of the defender. And Kelly gets this one out there. Defender, it looked like almost he could put his hands up there and just tip that one away. But Kyle Rudolph gets the reception. Nice job moving the chains. First and 10 now here for the Dolphins. Dolphins now on the Chiefs 33-yard line. Hand this one off to the halfback there. He makes a nice run as he is getting close to that century mark there. Four, 14 carries for 75 yards. Make it a nice run here today. Let's see if we can keep that running game going now for us. 14-14 still in this one. Kelly driving back. No, he gets out of the pocket. Scrambling off to the right-hand side. Goes back in, runs back inside. Slides. And he's just going to be short just of the 10-yard line. I believe they'll mark him at the 3. Or excuse me, at the 13. So just three yards shy of getting that first down. As we'll see, handoff there to Ma uh, to. Uh, Mac, as Mac does get the first. 721 left here in the third quarter. Kelly drops back in the pocket, throws this one there. That's going to be thrown, and it's going to be a touchdown. Wow, how did that happen? I almost thought it was going to be picked off or batted away, but somehow he just throws that one. He just needles that one, you know, just puts a thread right through the needle and gets that one to Fuller. Fuller gets the catch. Fuller turns around. That's a... One of those curl passes, and you, I don't know if you guys can uh, do curl passes in Madden, but I know uh, when I usually play, uh, either just in this mode or in the regular mode, just, you know, in franchise, uh, your receivers don't do a good job of turning around there. Usually there's a defender right on his back, or, or, or they take the outside instead of the inside there. That time it worked in our favor, and Fuller did a great job there of bringing that one in there. As we see the simulation here with Kansas City's offense, and they cannot do anything as they are now giving the ball back here after the punt. So now 21-14, Dolphins lead this one here in Miami as we'll see a run there from Mack. Mack trying to get back in the inside as he run that one way outside there and gets a gain of four. Third and six now coming up, ball in their own 33. Kelly drops back in the pocket, looks back down. Finds up the middle there, throws this one, and I believe that went to Mack himself there. Nice job as Mack gets a reception there for himself in this one. I believe that's his first reception of the day. Catch that nice little pass there. Or no, he did not catch that one. Incomplete pass, incomplete pass there to Mack as he just could not hold on to him. I'm surprised they did not call a fumble. So they're going to call it incomplete pass. And we'll see what the Chiefs can do now as we'll uh, punt the ball here to them. 21-14 as we again see another simulation here. Of the Kansas City offense. And what they're trying to do going down the field here is Malcolm Rucker making a nice run there. 21-yard reception there from to uh, Mahomes to uh, Kelsey. As, oh, got an injury there from uh, Rucker. And we'll see it. Travis Kelsey and, of course, uh, going down the field here, helping out his QB, trying to get in the end zone here. Thompson makes a nice seven-yard carry as he's taking over rushing duties here after Rooker has been taken out of the game. There you see, trying to get to the end zone here. Can they break in there? Defense-wise, right now, just having a little trouble trying to stop Kansas City. And they do, do stop Kansas City from getting a touchdown, but they do give up three points there. So I guess that's all right, but we'll get back to the game here now. For the Dolphins, as Dolphins back on the field here offensively. And we'll see Mack here trying to break. Breaks a couple tackles there. Finally goes all the way to the outside there for the run. And gets the uh, just two yards out of all that. Second and eight coming up here to start the fourth quarter. Kelly here calling a, a play here. Have a man in motion. Kelly dropping back in the pocket. Throws this one there high and deep. That one's going to be batted away. Great job there from the Chiefs defender making that stop. Third and eight coming up. Ball in the 27-yard line. Kelly drops back here. He's going to get drilled as he did not see that lineman come or that linebacker there coming out of the, up the middle there. I don't see how you miss that. As we'll see the play, Kelly drops back looking there. And then you got uh, Trevin Tre 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 comes in there. I think I butchered that name. 
but uh, he comes in there and makes a tackle and makes a nice stop. And, of course, the Dolphins will be forced now to punt the football. And it's, it's a tight ball game here in the fourth quarter, 21-17. to 17. Mahomes, of course, has plenty of time here to make this, uh, you know, really drag this drive out here if he wants to. And the Dolphins here having a really tough stop, but they do again stop them from scoring any kind of points that time and forcing the punt. As we'll see a pass there, that's going to go. Nice job there. This one, I believe, to Wilson. As that's a great, or no, excuse, excuse me, Fuller. Will Fuller makes a nice run after the catch there. Nice breakout run. And he gets this all the way down to the nine yard line here. First and goal coming up. Break it, broke a tackle over there. Mack trying to still fight to get in the that extra yardage there. Does so. And does get the uh, ball at the two yard line. So second and goal coming up here for the Dolphins. 21-17. Dolphins lead this one here in the mid part of the third, or excuse me, of the fourth final quarter of this game. See a handoff there, and Kansas City did a great job there reading that handoff as Mack is going to be stopped there. As that's a nice stop from that defense. So now third and goal coming up here. It's going to be a, probably going to be a passing situation here now for Kelly and the Dolphins. Offensive line needs to keep that uh, pocket open here. Throws up the middle there. That's going to be caught. And no, it's going to be dropped. As that's an incomplete pass. Their second drop pass now to Mack. And, of course, Mack's not known for his catching abilities. We're trying to work on that. Uh, yeah, hopefully he can work on that during the, uh, the course of the season. I know in my franchises and, uh, you know, now with this new XP system, that's I kind of – Try to get the uh, backs to, you know, uh, help be more, a little more helpful in the passing game there and get uh, start working on their hands there through uh, the latter part of this, uh, you know, the season there. As uh, Tyreek uh, Tyree Hill gets a touchdown and ties this one now 14 all. So Kansas City does a great job there on that last drive, getting down the field with a little help, of course, uh, from Tyreek Hill tying this one up, 24 all. Ball on their own 28-yard line. Dolphins need to make a play here or make a decent drive here and get down this field here, get onto the board here again. It's been a while since we scored a touchdown. And you see there, Mac, 22 carries, 93 yards in today's game. First and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 36-yard line. Kelly taking his time here. With just four minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Kelly hands this one off there to Mack. Mack does a little dancing around. Gets a couple yards on the play. And so we'll go now to a second and four coming up. Ball on their own 43-yard line. And this one off to Mack again up the middle. Matt Mack keeps going here. He's going to get to midfield as they'll place the ball at dead center field at the 50-yard line. First and 10 coming up after that nice run there from Mack. Kelly here throws this one as he hit, uh, gets hit as he throws there, but it's accurate. And that's going to be a reception. Nice job there to Kyle Rudolph, of the tight end, helping him out. And that's going to, of course, be a first down. First and 10 here, quick pass there. Nice job there from Kelly as he is able to get that one off and get that one down the field to Kenny Starks, his fifth catch of the day. And he's getting trying to get we're getting close to the central mark for him here today as he has 79 yards right now in receptions. So again, another handoff there to Mac. Mac trying to get around, trying to find a, a hole there to go through. Finds a nice block and gets a couple yards on the play. Second and five, I believe, or excuse me, second and six now coming up. Ball on the 20 yard line. And of course, Kelly taking his time here. Reading the defense here, maybe make could possibly making some line adjustments here on this run. And this off to Mac. Mac there goes off to the Okay, I want to know what the logic is on that one because he had a wide open spot there towards the right hand side, but he darts back inside and uh, gets tackled. He could have that should have been a touchdown. <laughs> but uh yeah, it's yeah. Anyway, 
First and ten here after the play. Kelly will go ahead and ran it. Scrambles off there. That's going to be a pass, and that one's going to back in the end zone there. But at the last second there, nice stop there, I believe, by Matthew on that play. Second and ten here for the Dolphins. 24-24 with a minute 12 left here. Kelly here taking his time here. Now it doesn't look too nervous on the field, but they will go ahead and call a timeout. As the Dolphins, uh, or I should say the Chiefs will go ahead and take a timeout there. They're getting a little nervous now. They are at least getting a little nervous now. Dolphins, on the other hand, not uh, being pretty cool and calm and collected right now. First and 10. Kelly drops back, fires this one. A nice slant pass there. That is going to go to Kenny Steeles. And that is going to be a touchdown. Great job there from Khalil Kelly and the offensive line. Doing a great job moving the ball down the field. And Kenny Steeles gets into the end zone. Great catch there from him. Can't ever beat a slant pass. Or a slant uh, route like that. As we wrap this one up here, 31-24. We'll see with just a minute left here if Kansas City can try to fight back in this one here. And we'll see. As they're bringing out a uh, third string back right now, Booby Williams. He's going to come out here. And I don't understand why they're trying to pass or run here. They should be passing. But they're going to, you know, again, the logic in this game. And Kansas City will go ahead and lose this one. Kansas City goes now to a 12-4 and record. As we are now walking out of here perfect for the second year in a row, 16-0. Here we are now trying to go for the, for the uh, another championship. We'll try to go for our fourth Super Bowl championship. Let's take a look at the numbers here. Great day there for Khalil Kelly. 16-27, 239, three touchdowns, no interceptions. As for Mahomes, not a bad day. 365, he did out uh, throw his lure some. Uh, 24 of 38. Uh, but he had three touchdowns and also had three picks in the game which kind of hurt him there. Uh, that's, I kind of now think about now as I, well, now as I generally think about this now, uh, looking at my notes here, it does say that <laughs> there was quite a few turnovers there, which gave us some pretty good field position there for ourselves. Uh, the defense did there. So a great job there for the defense. Like I said, this defense has been really nice. I mean, compared to when we first started, of course, you know, when this game was out the back in 20, tw or back in 2020, uh, the Dolphins probably one of the worst teams in the game, and, and especially defensively. Ugh. But uh, since then, I mean, we haven't. I mean, we've made a couple upgrades off it, on the defensive side, more more so on the offensive side of things. But defensively, I mean, we've made a few, th you know, uh, player moves and changes there. But uh, for the most part, you know, I think it's been pretty much our offense. Our offense has been coming alive here, and uh, we've been getting ourselves and. Uh, and some pretty good uh, drives going down the field and taking the ball and being smart about it, really. Kelly's been doing a great job of that. And I see his uh, evolution of becoming a great quarterback has really um, advanced him. So there you see, we'll get into this one here. You see some of the defensive numbers. You guys can pause the video check that out. But like I said, the this series will, of course, will continue. We'll, we'll finish the playoffs here, at least in this version of Khalil Kelly's face of the franchise here on Madden 20. Uh, but then once so this we get done with this, uh, you know, this series, win or lose uh, the Super Bowl, uh, then we will, of course, bring him over to Madden 22 and we'll kind of reboot, restart his career as a quarterback. And, of course, I don't know where he's going to be going to, but he will be a part of a draft class. Uh, we'll actually advance that uh, season uh, which will be the current teams right now in IRL. We'll advance that one year. Um, one year, you know, we'll advance that first year. We'll see him that first year, and then we'll see where he goes in the draft, and then that's how we'll kind of – be a fair way to pick his team because uh, I don't want to just drop him on the Dolphins and uh, give uh, you know, <laughs> Tua Valua, uh, you know, not a shot at being the quarterback. So – but that's how we'll do it. Uh, and like I said, we'll talk more about that as we get closer and closer to wrapping up this series here on Madden 20. But that is it for this episode. You guys stay tuned for episode 65 as we'll take a quick look at the postseason or the uh, regular season numbers for the final numbers for the regular season. Show you guys those numbers. Show you guys some awards. 
and show you guys uh, the playoff picture. And then, of course, we'll go right into the divisional round as uh, we're going to get right back into things here. So, like I said, the wall card action, we'll show you guys who those teams are. Of course, uh, regular season stats, awards, all that kind of good stuff. And then uh, we'll show you guys who in the play who's in the playoffs. And then wrap it up uh, with a game uh, in the for the divisional game. We'll play that game and see who we're playing that one and get ready for the, hopefully we we'll move on to the AFC Championship game. But that's it for this episode of Khalil Kelly's Face of the Franchise here on Madden 20. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. Hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified of this series or any other series on the channel. Don't forget to follow us on our second channel, also too, on ESGNLP. Plus, uh, check us out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Links are down below in the description. Check us out there for latest news on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports and sports gaming in general. Again, you guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. For more here of Khalil Kelly. As always, keep yourselves your, each other healthy. Take care, and I will see you guys. Now, hope by the way, have a nice weekend. I'll see you guys next time.